Time now to turn things over to Sean Quinn with your first alert forecast. Sean, things definitely died down as far as the temperature goes. Yeah, temperatures were really skyrocketing. It's fall. We get those Santa Anas, and now we're going back the other way. So a beautiful night across Santa Barbara looking south and southeast. And believe it or not, we do have still it's kind of a, a mix of weather issues. Fire, obviously, we have to keep an eye on it. This is uh, more or less the girth of it, not necessarily these uh, little icons don't necessarily represent the activity, but this just shows you the areas of concern. And the winds right now in good shape. We're coming off the ocean out of the south and humidity values. This is almost about triple of what it was just yesterday, actually almost quadrupled what it was uh, 24 hours ago. So that means we are getting a lot more activity and also to our north. Look at this. We have some rain showing up in Northern California and even mountain snow. Uh, kind of a double edged sword here is this rolls through us in the next 24 hours could bring a little bit more wind and possibly not enough rain to really douse the fire south of Point Conception. So we're going to have to watch this. Um, it's, it's a hopeful sign obviously of activity coming off the Pacific Ocean, but at the same time could bring in a little, little bit of wind for uh, those firefighters that are obviously is still really on the watch and boy look at that a blue map across the board dropping anywhere between 10 to 20 degrees from Saturday to Sunday and even a little bit more if you went back to Friday where we had a lot of 90s and 80s today. We did get some 70s again and uh, of course the 60s were probably a little bit more prevalent near the beaches. Your inland areas are kind of holding on to the heat just a little bit more or the warmth and staying in a kind of mild range and believe it or not that's actually about where we should be for this time of year. A lot of areas um, actually getting back to where they should be. 60s uh, across the board right now some mid 60s in the warmest areas and some lower 60s as we start to cool things off and wind generally out of the west northwest a lot more west as you head farther north and then a little more northwest as you head down into the Santa Barbara Channel humidity values this is awesome we're recovering in a lot of areas so marine layer clouds are possible but we're looking more for the chance of seeing some sprinkles and that's because of this right here a storm to our north is bringing in so much 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 needed rainfall and even better uh, mountain snowfall for Washington Oregon and then down into Northern California. So that is just absolutely awesome for us. Though, as you head farther south, possible light rain to drizzle. So maybe some measurable, probably not. That's what we're looking at, but at least we're getting something and the Pacific Ocean is showing a lot of signs of activity. So we'll look at the future cast and we're trying to work it a little bit south right here. And you'll notice as it does get, get close to Point Conception, then it drops off really quickly, but some shows up to the south of us. And that's because that mountain range will sort of dry it out. Uh, sort of suck up the moisture on the north side as it goes over it will dry out that's your lee side the dry side and then it tries to reorganize a little bit farther to the south so long story short as that blows through another chance maybe shows up by about Wednesday and then possibly an even better chance next weekend but as we watch that uh, the marine there watch how fast it sort of tries to hold on and then it gets gouged out so that brings a little bit of concern. We take it from the fog, um, the rain to the north, maybe a little to the south, but then the Gaviota coastline right here, this is what we have to watch out for is a little burst of wind, both tomorrow uh, in the middle of the day and then also as we head toward tomorrow night. Um, by Tuesday, it should calm down again, so let's just hope this little burst of wind doesn't affect the firefighters negatively in the sense that they're not expecting really any rainfall. And there are your high temperatures on the cool side for your Monday, and as we go to Tuesday, it looks like it kind of dips in the morning and then we get a little bit of a bounce back but not much so uh, likely to be a little bit cool the next couple of days. So there's your forecast and of course watching the Gaviota Coast for any burst of wind will be really important for us tomorrow and we will definitely do that here in the Weather Center. All areas cool and breezy and those rain chances evaporating quickly by the late morning and into the early afternoon. So all areas a slight chance, better chance as you go farther north. Surf will pick up out of the northwest over the next couple of days and it looks like we're in for a run of swell over the next couple of weeks and there's your forecast right through the period a better chance for rain shows up Blake as we head toward next weekend and that means all areas can at least expect a decent chance of a threat for rain which is such good news by next weekend. Thanks Sean.